I'm Coyote Peterson. This is a mound of fire ants. I think we all know where this is headed. Oh boy, here we go. Holy cow, that's a lot of stings already. Ugh! All right, guys. So when I was in Arizona, you saw me put my hands into a mound of harvester ants, a species that both bites and stings. I lasted 60 seconds and took a lot of venom. Ah, yep, getting stung already. Ah, ah, ah they're all over my hands now, look at that. Today I'm in South Florida, and right in front of me is a giant mound of fire ants. I'm sure you're looking at this pile of dirt thinking to yourselves, is that really an ant hill? Looks like no one's home. I promise you, there are thousands of these fiery little ants beneath the surface. And the second that my hands disturb this dirt, I'm going to be swarmed by these ornery little insects. Am I excited about this? Not really. Am I curious as to what's gonna happen? Of course, and I know you guys are too. I think at this point, I am ready to enter the strike zone with the fire ant. The red imported fire ant is native to South America yet they have established populations in several places across the United States, including Florida. What makes these insects so dangerous is that their mounds camouflage into the environment, resembling nothing more than a pile of dirt. Stumble into one, and before you even realize what you have done, you are caught in the swarm. Now, just like the harvester ant, the fire ant can bite and it can also sting. And they say that the sting of a fire ant feels like putting your hands into a ring of fire. Now before I actually go through with this, here's a little something we all should know. The sting of this ant species possesses an alkaloid venom known as sulnopsin, which exhibits a potent necrotoxic reaction in anyone who is stung. This not only causes searing pain, but also causes the sting zones to swell and form unsightly white pustulates in as little as 12 hours. In short, this is one nasty sting, and boy am I about to get my fair share of them. You build yourself up for these moments and then you, uh, you second guess yourself. We've done a couple of practice dry runs at it, just as a rehearsal as to where I'm gonna put my hands. When they go in there, I'm gonna be able to do this one time. I'm gonna try to keep my hands in there for 60 seconds. Heart is racing right now. Hopefully my body reacts okay to the venom. Don't wanna go into anaphylactic shock or anything. I did okay with the harvester ants, so I think I'm gonna be okay. All right, here we go, ready? Yeah. All right, go get in position. I'll be there in a second. All right, man. Never. Under any circumstances, try to replicate what you are about to witness in this video. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the strike zone with the fire ant. You guys ready? Your shot good? Yep. One, two, three. Holy cow. Ow, ow, ow! Oh! Uh! That's a lot of stings already. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to take my hands out pretty quickly, guys. Ah, 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 So much worse than the harvester ants. Go! I can't, I can't, I gotta stop, I gotta stop, I gotta stop! Look up at you, man. How are you? Tell me what you're feeling. A lot of pain. Oh, oh, they're still on me. Oh, my hands are on fire right now. Ah, it is worse than the harvest strand. There's no question about it. What's going through your mind right now? My hands feel like they're swelling right now. I feel like I'm still getting stung. Ah, be one with the pain. Be one with the pain. Look at my veins are all swelling up. When a mound of fire ants is disturbed, thousands of them instantly swarm the invader. The attack comes from all sides, and as the ants bite and hold down with their mandibles, they use a stinger in their abdomen to inject the venom. Man, I was hoping to last 60 seconds. However, my pain tolerance finally gave out as my brain was screaming, get your hands out of that ant mound. 
All right, so it's been about five minutes since I had my hands in the ant mound. As you can see, they're starting to swell up. There's a bunch of little white lumps all over them. It's actually not too bad at this point. It hurts less than it does itch. I really want to itch my hands right now, and I know that I shouldn't, because if I do, it's only going to make it worse. Now, if you want to know the answer of which is worse, the harvester ant or the fire ant, I think the pain was worse with the harvester ant, but obviously the swarm was more impressive with the fire ant. This is much worse than the harvester ants. <laughs> The moment those ants were covering my hands, I was immediately getting stung over and over and over again. And it did feel like putting my hands into a ring of fire. Holy cow. I think no matter what, at the end of the day, the lesson that we're all taking away from this is that if you're out in nature and you're exploring, always do your best to avoid any and all ant mounds. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. In total, I sustained over 300 stings, and for over a week, I suffered through incredible discomfort, which included flashes of pain and continuous itching. It took over 30 days for the pustulates to completely diminish, and they left behind a trail of scars that today serve as a constant reminder of why you never want to tangle with fire ants. Nearly all ant attacks happen on humans by accident. Pay attention to where you step or sit, and you hopefully will not end up looking like me. Do you know the simplest remedy for neutralizing ant stings in the field? If not, make sure to click watch next for one totally gross behind the adventure. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Well, I think it's safe to say that I'm done with ants for a while.